Hey everyone, Big Bird Big Daddy here, and today I have a UU match against Trevor, one of three directors on the Thrill Machine, so I hope you all enjoy. Um, this is my first UU match ever, uh, so uh, you'll see I made a lot of mistakes. Well, not a lot, but I made significant mistakes, I guess. But I lead off with Deoxys Defense, he leads off with his Frost Last, and for some reason I thought he'd just go for Spikes to her turn, so I tried to use Taunt, and that was completely stupid, so... I gotta switch out now because I can't do anything. And we go into my melodic as he goes for spikes, first layer spikes. And um, I wanted to get this thing burned um, so that, because I'm probably sure that thing has destiny bond, so I want burn damage to kill him, not me. So I try to go for skull, try to get the burn. And uh, <coughs> right now it's not working out for me, I'm not getting it. And I'm going to predict Destiny Bond now and go into Heracross. And uh, that's a good prediction, I guess. But you'll see here, uh, I thought Destiny Bond only works that turn. I thought you'd have to use it again. Uh, apparently you don't, though. I guess it waits for your opponent to make a move first. Uh, because Heracross attacks it and goes down. So <laughs> that really sucks. I wouldn't have uh, attacked with Heracross if I knew that was going to happen, but... He's going to bring in his Rotom Heat form now. I'm going to bring in my Roserade, which is a terrible switch. So I'm going to predict the Fire-type move and go into Houndoom. I haven't nicknamed it yet because I don't know what to name it. Um, and I get the Flash Fire boost. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. So he's going to switch Rotom out now and go into Togekiss. Um, I didn't want to go for Fire Blast right off the bat because I think he had a Fire Resist or something and I didn't want to go for it. Um, so I just go for Dark Pulse, but... A Dark Pulse and a Fire Blast uh, Life Orb is probably going to kill that Togekiss, and thankfully it does. As defensive as that thing is, uh, it's not going to live a plus one Fire Blast. So he brings in Star Raptor now. I can't take anything this thing has. So I'm going to switch into Deoxys Defense to see what kind of set this uh, Star Raptor is. <coughs> and he's going to go for the Brave Bird here. And looking at the amount of damage this does, it immediately tips me off that it's Choice Banded. And that's going to come into play later, uh, as you'll see. And um, I, I can't do anything. No one wants to take a Choice Banded uh, Brave Bird, so I just got to fodder Dwight out, which sucks. But um, <laughs> what are you going to do, right? So I go into Melodic. I threaten him with the Ice Beam. So he's going to switch out and go into his Kingdra. Um, I didn't want to overpredict too early, and I just go for the Ice Beam here. Now, um, this Melodic is cool because I have Haze on it, and he doesn't know that yet. So, um, while he's trying to DD up, I'm going to try to get the burn. <laughs> and, um, because I figure he's not going to expect Haze if I, uh, you know, because who sees Haze very often? Not a lot of people. But I see his leftovers, so he's not Resto Chesto. So, I know if, it, if I get the burn on this thing, this thing is put out of commission for good. This thing won't be able to do anything. So, um, he's going to get another Dragon Dance off. I'm just going to go for the Haze now. So now he knows I have Haze and staying in with this thing uh, might not be a good idea, but he's going to try to set up one Dragon Dance uh, knowing I'm not going to go for the Haze this turn, that I'm going to try for the burn. And I go for it and I don't get the burn and that really sucks. So now, uh, he's going to go for the Outrage. And I'm hoping I can, t I'm pretty sure I can take one because Malaka is pretty good. I can get it off the Haze. But now he's locked into Outrage, which is great for me. Uh, because I do have a Steel-type Resist on his team, my Cobalion. <coughs> which is like one of my new favorite UU pokes. He's just awesome. So I'm going to go into it now as because he's locked into Outrage. And this is a perfect time to set up sword stances. So he's going to go for another one, and I'm hoping he gets a three-turn Outrage, and he does. So I'm going to get up a free Swords Dance um, while he Outrages one more time. <coughs> so that's what's going to happen here. Athos is looking really good now. And the Outrage hits, and it's not going to do very much because Cobalion's defensive, you know. So uh, I'm going to take that pretty well. And I'm going to hit him with a close combat, thinking that plus two would be enough to kill... Um, but apparently it's not. This Kingdra is a beast, and it lives with like a little bit of health left. I guess I could max, 
uh, min damage. I'm hoping he hits himself, and he does. And thank God, or else I probably would have died right there. And uh, uh, I would have lost Kabalion, and that would have sucked. But he goes into Tangrowth now. And he's probably not expecting Taunt, and I do pack Taunt on this Kabalion for people that want to cripple this thing. So I go for it, and he wasn't expecting that. He goes for the Sleep Powder, which is awesome. So I can't do anything to this thing because it's a defensive wall. So I'm going to switch out into my Roserade to take whatever it wants to do. He's going to go for the Energy Ball. And I'm not too worried about that because Roserade has really good special defense. And I can take that pretty, pretty well. So he's going to switch out into Rotom now. Um, I know most of his team, uh, I have Toxic Spikes as I go for Sleep Powder. Um, the only thing that would be affected by it, his last two guys, uh, or three guys, um, is Tan Growth. But I need something to wear it down um, to the point where I can kill it with something. So that's why I set up two layers of toxic spikes to get that thing toxic poison. That's basically the only reason I did it. But I'm going to switch out to uh, Melodic hoping he'll sleep one more turn. But unfortunately he doesn't and he does a smart move and goes for a bolt switch because he knew I would switch. And that was really, really uh, a good play. <coughs> so... He um, I lose my Melodic, which isn't good. It goes into uh, Staraptor now. I know this thing's banded, so it doesn't matter if it's Adamant or Jolly, uh, because I am a Jolly Kabalion, and I will speed it no matter what. So I'm just going to go for the Stone Edge here, and it's going to hit the incoming Tangrowth. It's not going to do very much, uh, like I said, but because Poison Damage is, uh, or Toxic Damage is going to start to build up, um, I'm going to switch out into my Roserade to take uh, the Energy Ball or whatever it wants to do. And he does go for the Energy Ball once again. So that's cool. Um, I didn't think he'd go for Sleep Powder this time, uh, predicting Taunt. That's why I switched out. And I do have Hidden Power Fire on this uh, Roserade, so I'm going to go for it. And it's going to kill the Tangrowth from where it was at. I'm not sure... Uh, if uh, without uh, toxic damage, I would have killed. So that's why I just brought it in. It probably didn't matter, but um, I just leave Roserade in here for Death Fodder um, uh, for the Staraptor, um, just so I could get a free switch back into Kabalion. Uh, not gonna over predict. I'm just gonna go for the Stone Edge here, and um, he finds out here I'm Jolly. He was hoping I was adamant, but I'm not, and I'm able to kill that Staraptor, which is great. Now all he has left is his Rotom Heat, and I have my Cobalion and my uh, Houndoom. So it's pretty much my game, because Houndoom outspeeds him as well. So even um, even though I don't kill with Stone Edge, if he had hit this Overheat, I would have just gone into my um, Houndoom and then cleaned up from there with a Sucker Punch or something. But I just go for Close Combat now, because I don't want um, Stone Edge to miss, and I'm able to take out that Rotom Heat, and that is a good game. So good game, Trevor. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys go check out their channel. They post Pokemon battles as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed my first uh, my first UU battle, 5th uh, gen UU battle on this channel. And uh, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time, I guess. Right? Do I have anything else to say? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, well... Uh, Oh yeah, if you have any more movesets for me to use, uh, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, and uh, I'll try to s set up something with somebody s to use the movesets against. Yeah, so I <laughs> um, hope you all enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.